In this video, I am making $5 dinners for five nights. Now you guys tend to really like my $5 dinners. It's just a matter of finding recipes that stick to $5, and today, I think I did it. So the first recipe I'm making is our French bread pizza, but I also have a side dish in this $5 dinner, and we're gonna make some honey roasted carrots. All right, so we're gonna pull out one loaf of our French bread and just cut it right in half. Next, you're gonna take your pizza sauce and just put it right on top of your French bread. Then you're going to shred your mozzarella cheese and then we're gonna cover the French bread with it. Then you're gonna cook it for about 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Once the cheese is melted and they're pretty crispy on the outside, you can just pull it all now. Pizza is delicious, but I also love having a yummy side dish with it. So these carrots were only a dollar and we are going to roast them up. So we're gonna pour it onto a sheet pan. Then I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil, mix that around with my spatula. You kinda want, you want oil all over each carrot. Then we're gonna add some garlic salt. I know that sounds funny because these are honey roasted carrots, but garlic salt with the honey is delicious. So we're just gonna do garlic salt first and cook it just like this after we mix it, of course. So we're gonna bake it at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes until your carrots are soft. Okay, when the carrots are nice and cooked and soft, I'm just gonna scrape them off the bottom and put them all into one corner. Now you can eat them just like this, but I love to add honey onto them. So do it while it's hot, then just drizzle on some honey. And you're just gonna cut up your pizza and serve it with your honey roasted carrots. All right, pizza. <laughs> And of course, the carrots. My kids love these. We have these at least once a week. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next recipe is our loaded baked potato. So I have four potatoes here because that will feed six of us. These are pretty decent sized potatoes. Putting them in my Instant Pot, then we're gonna add one cup of water. Gonna put the lid on. Make sure if you have this little knob, it's on ceiling, not venting. Then we're gonna push pressure cook and go to 20 minutes. All right, we let all the pressure out. Baked potatoes are cooked all the way through. They look so good. So now we're just gonna cut the potato right in half. Now, usually I would just do normal chili on my potatoes, but they didn't have normal chili at the store. They only had chili mac, so that's what we're gonna try today. We're gonna see how it tastes. We're just gonna warm this up in the microwave. Hey, then you're gonna add your chili, or in my case, chili mac today. And then the recipe calls for a little bit of cheddar cheese, and we're just putting it right on top. Okay, loaded potatoes. We're gonna pretend that this is just normal chili, not the chili mac. I didn't get any noodles in there. <laughs> This one, we're gonna do a five out of five, if you use normal chili. My next $5 dinner is taco soup. Now I wanted to make this as easy and as cheap as possible. So this recipe, you actually get beans, corn, rice, and red peppers. So we're just going to cook these for our taco soup. So I bought two bags of these, and it does have some seasoning and flavor in there. But just in case, we are going to add another taco seasoning and dump that right in. Then we're gonna add four cups of water. Okay, we're gonna mix this just a little bit, then we're going to let it simmer and make sure everything is cooked all the way through and then it should be ready to serve. All right, the taco soup is done. Rice is cooked, everything's cooked. It looks really good. So for this recipe, we have a little bit leftover cheese. We're gonna shred a little bit of our cheddar cheese and you can just put that right on top. Part of our $5 dinners is another loaf of French bread. So we're actually gonna use half of this loaf for something else. And we're gonna use this half to dip into the soup. So it's just a little bit more filling than just soup itself. Now you can put butter on this with garlic salt or you can just dip it in the soup 
just like that. Taste test of the soup. I kind of like it, so I'll give it a five. The next recipe I'm making is baked spaghetti. First, you're gonna take your spaghetti pasta noodles. I like to break them in half. That way they will cook a lot more evenly. Then you're just going to lay them across each other going different ways. Now the secret of cooking noodles in your Instant Pot is you wanna make sure that the water is covering all the noodles. Then you're gonna put the lid on. If you have a little knob, make sure that's on ceiling, not venting. Then on this one, we're gonna push pressure cook. Now noodles or pasta usually only takes about four minutes but I'm actually gonna cook it for three minutes because this one gets a little bit hotter and then we're gonna push start on this one. The pasta is all done cooking. I rinsed it with some cold water so it would stop cooking the noodles. So we are now ready to go. We're gonna add half of the pasta to the bottom of the pan and then we're gonna add half of the spaghetti sauce. Then just gonna mix that around so all the pasta is covered with the sauce. Then we're gonna use all the leftover cheese that we had for these recipes and add it to here. So first I did mozzarella. Shred it all up. We're gonna add the mozzarella to this layer. Then we're gonna add the rest of the noodles on top. I'm not gonna do all the noodles. It's just a little too much. There's just a little bit left and that's okay. We wanna be sure to taste the spaghetti sauce. And again, we're gonna add the sauce. Mix that in a little bit onto this layer. Then we have the rest of the cheddar. We're gonna put that on top. Then we're gonna cook this about 350 degrees for 10 minutes. All right, baked spaghetti. Done. All right, poor man spaghetti. <laughs> so I'm gonna give that one a four out of five. My kids love it, my husband, nah, he, he didn't love it. So, a four. And the last recipe I'm making is our chickpea and pasta. So in a saucepan, I am going to add some olive oil on medium high heat. Then I'm gonna add in half of a chopped onion, and I'm also gonna add half the bag of chopped spinach. Then we're just gonna cook this until everything is nice and softened. Next, we're gonna add our fire roasted diced tomatoes, and then one can of chickpeas. And then mix that all together. Now I'm gonna add the one can of chicken broth and half of the pasta. Okay, then we're gonna put the lid on. We're just gonna let it simmer for about five minutes. The noodles are all done cooking. Man, this looks so good. Now, I haven't added any seasoning yet, so we're gonna just add salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning. I thought that would be good here. And mixing it all together. All right, I couldn't get any kids to volunteer to test taste test, but I gladly will. Mm. You know, for a $5 dinner, it's really not that bad. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Now, if you want more $5 dinners just like this, you can find some right up there. And if you have watched all the way to the end, you get a special surprise. As sisters, we have launched a Six Sister Stuff podcast. I'm gonna put a link down below for you. The first episode just launched, so go check it out.